What happens if you don't have your phone or watch on you? How are you gonna tell the time? We are gonna learn how to read time with the sun and make our own sundials today. Okay, look outside. Is it sunny today? I think it is, so we can start, make, we can make our sundial. Sundials are one of the oldest scientific measurements that we have, and it was how the, it's how they used to tell time before they made mechanical clocks and watches. How a sundial works is it has a flat base and a stick called a gnomon. Now where the gnomon casts a shadow, we'll look to see where it falls to be able to tell what time it is. So we're gonna go ahead and make our sundial. But as long as you put your sundial back in the same place facing north, then you can go ahead and tell what time it is while you're playing outside. You can also make a giant human sundial and with chalk and just keep it on your driveway. And as long as it doesn't rain, you can be able to go to that same spot and tell what time it is. So let's go get ahead, let's go make our sundial. To make our sundial, you just need a paper plate and a pencil. And we're gonna poke a hole in the middle of our paper plate and just shove our pencil through. And there you go, there's our sundial. Okay, so once you've had, poked your pencil through the middle of your paper plate, you're gonna to wanna to tilt it slightly because we're gonna tilt it slightly to the north. All right, so we're first gonna tape our paper plates to a big cardboard box. We have actually three children, so we're gonna do three plates. Everyone gets a sundial. But you, want, you might wanna tape your paper plate to like a bigger cardboard box or board because you don't want it to move around and you don't want the wind blowing it away. You want it to be, you have to keep it in the same spot for the whole day. So um, go ahead and tape it to something that might, that's going to be secure and won't blow away and won't move around. Hey, so we're outside and it's 10 o'clock and we put our sundials so we taped down our sundials to our cardboard box, our cardboard, and it, we're going to show what time it is. And we're gonna write our line so we can create our sundial. 10 o'clock, so you're gonna write a little 10, and then you're gonna take your straight edge or ruler, and you're gonna draw the 10 o'clock time. So here's Elizabeth's gonna write 10. I wrote 10. Ten and o'clock then, with a shadow. Edge. Can you draw a line from along the shadow? Yeah. Okay. So what do you think is gonna happen? So here's our sun, and our sun creates a shadow. This is gonna be eleven o'clock. Where do you think eleven o'clock is gonna be? Um, this way. So the sun creates long shadows. The um, early and later it is by the time when the sun gets right above us right above our pencil it's gonna be a shorter shadow down here to the 12 o'clock so, oh, yeah, so while you guys are making your sundials we're, I want you to look at how long the shadow the length of the shadow and how it changes it's up to here yeah, so we're <laughs> going to keep checking this every hour. So we'll see you back at 11 o'clock. Ooh, 11 o'clock now. <coughs> All right, Elizabeth, what do you observe? So we're going to look at our sundial. It changed. So let's take a look. So we had our 10 o'clock, and now we're going to write 11 o'clock. 11. Okay, so our shadow, is it getting longer or shorter? What did you notice? It's getting shorter because it was long and now it's short. Yeah. Now I need right, to Because how do we create shadows? It's when something blocks the sun, so it creates a shadow. Um, see you at 12. 12 o'clock, it's 12 o'clock. Okay, what does our sundial look like? It's shorter! Our shadow is getting shorter. Because the sun's getting higher. The sun's kind of at the highest point. So what do you think? Is our shadow going to get longer or keep getting shorter now? Keep on getting shorter and shorter and shorter until it gets to here. So we'll come back and see. Now our sun is heading to the 
west. So we'll see what's going to happen. So if our, sh our okay. sun is heading to the west, our shadow is going to start heading east. When you, If you want to come back and keep your sundial for all the days of summer to be like, I know how to tell time, you're going to set up your sundial so it's pointing north. So at 12 o'clock, it's always going to point straight to your north. Did you know that you can also make a giant sundial with you as the gnomon? which is the object in the middle that creates the shadow. So if you are the gnomon, you just have to make sure that you mark an X so you always stand in the same spot every hour. So we're gonna create a giant sundial with Elizabeth as our gnomon. One o'clock. Our shadow's moving to the east. Two o'clock in the afternoon, our shadow is heading east because the sun is starting to go west. So we see that our shadow is starting to go clockwise, just like a clock. Now, do you guys think that our sundial is gonna look like a normal clock? We'll see. Now we're at six o'clock. I think our sun is about to, um, it's getting pretty low in the sky. Um, so this wraps up our sundial experiment, but pretty cool to learn um, how the sun and its shadows work. So the sun is getting pretty low in the west and so our shadows are really long. Um, I wanna see that the spaces um, are not always even. They kind of are pretty spaced out and kind of get closer and closer together the later in the day it gets. You can also wake up early and start um, at like 6 in the morning, which would probably be pretty much halfway across the plate. Um, I hope you guys had fun learning about shadows and how they used to tell time um, before they made watches. There you have it, we made our own sundial. So what you can do now is go ahead and leave it outside all spring, summer. Um, make sure to line up the um, shadow with the right time and then whenever you're playing outside again, you can be able to tell the time with your sundial. All right, it's been a great week. Thanks so much for following us. Go have lots of fun making, uh, having fun with science and doing experiments. Explore, learn, observe. We'll see you later.